Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm going to be showing you how to order your pages in Adobe Acrobat um, for your books, especially when you add a cover image to the file. So let me explain what I'm talking about here. I recently uh, had a book client ask me to add the front and the back cover of the book to the interior design file. So what I did was I exported the interior file. This is my example here, uh, which has the title page, left and right spreads, and then an end page that has about the author. This was fine until I realized that when I add an additional page, like so, all of a sudden, my left and right pages are no longer left and right. They have been flip-flopped. So let me show you what I mean in Acrobat. So let's go ahead and open up my file, the interior. So I'm going to go ahead and go to two page view. You can see here, uh, this is two page view. So the title page is here on its own, and then you have a left and a right spread, and then about the author at the end. Now, I'm going to go do what my client requested. I'm going to add that cover image. So I'm going to go to Organize Pages. And now I'm going to right click here and insert pages from File. I'm going to add in the front cover. I'm going to add the front cover before the current page. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the back cover. I'm going to insert pages from a file. I'm going to insert the back cover. I'm going to insert it after about the author. So now I have the front cover, all of the interior pages, and the back cover. If we close this, and we go back to the preview, we see that we have the front cover, the title page, which has then scooted the left-hand page to the right, and now the right-hand page has been scooted down to the next left-hand page. About the author ends up here, and then the back cover is on its own spread. Now, this may not pose a problem if you have a file where it doesn't matter, what pages are which, but if you do have a book where it's important that the pages stick together, like say a children's book, you need that image to stay paired up with the text that you have prepared for it, or else the story doesn't make any sense. The best way I found to overcome this problem is to simply add in blank pages to replace um, that, that blank image that would actually be in the print book. So take this for example. In a print book, you have the cover, and when you open it, you have this blank page on the inside. This is essentially what we are adding. We are adding this blank page. In order to do that, we are going to go back to the Organize Pages tab. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to Insert Page, and I'm going to tell it to insert a blank page. You can see that option here, Blank Page. I'm going to tell it to insert this blank page before the title page. And then I'm going to tell it to insert another blank page before the back cover. So by doing this, basically what we've done is we've gone in and added this and this. Now, everything should be in the correct order when we go to open this book up. So let's go back to the preview. And if we scroll through, we see that we have the front cover, that blank inside fi file, title page, and now the spreads are correct. Now it is left and right about the author, the inside of the back cover, and the back cover. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Um, like and subscribe below. That really helps us out. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Let us know if you um, need help with anything. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.